Hey, it's back time for my locks of the week, powered by Deathwish Coffee, the world's strongest coffee. All right, so a little bit of a rough week last week, 0-2-1, but we can bounce back, we can do this. I've been rolling with the road teams, and it's worked for me. I got away from it last week, went with the home teams. We're going back on the road. We are invaders, we are Vikings, we are Raiders, my friend. However, I won't pick the Raiders because I'm not that stupid. Let's start, let's start with the Seahawks, man. Laying six and a half on the road versus Carolina. Panthers have all kinds of turmoil. Yes, they have a very talented offense. They have some good players on defense, but we really don't know what the plan is. They don't have much to play for. Meanwhile, the Seahawks need to keep pace with the Niners. If they want to go ahead and win the West, if they want a chance in a bye week in the playoffs, I'll lay the six and a half points with Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. Usually they keep it close. I think they win this one by at least a touchdown and keep it comfortable for themselves. Dolphins coming to MetLife. It looks like Eli's farewell game. Eli's really great for a half. I think three and a half is too big. I think they can win this game outright, maybe the Dolphins, but field goal the most. Give me the Dolphins plus three and a half. They're playing tough. Giants don't seem to really care all that much about what's going on, and they just released uh, Janoris Jackrabbit Jenkins. Finally, the Bills plus two at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's amazing. How you win with a third, fourth string quarterback, how you continue to play well with injuries and everything else, it amazes me. Bills are going to go in there, and they're going to play just as well. This is a super close game, so I'm taking the points. Bills plus two at Pittsburgh. Those are my locks for the week. Good luck out there, and make sure you get yourself some Death Wish coffee at deathwishcoffee.com.